I'm just looking forward to the process working up to the very end. So maybe I can go back a step back. We got this call for proposals, a number of, well, I think it was in January, from the German Marshall Fund. So when you got the call, see, I thought, okay, you know, we have, you know, we have been organizing things, but we don't get a chance to sit down with various interests and then try to agree or disagree, at least identify what the issues are and so forth. Talk about migration in sort of, uh, you know, removing the hearts of the various organizations and institutions we represent because we are normally sometimes prisoners of what we do. So if you are working in migration, that's what you do. You are in integration, that's what you do. Asylum, economic migration, and so forth. So I'm hoping today we have some space and we can talk. Uh, it is being documented in two ways. Um, Marguerite is uh, taking some notes, okay? We'll have a flip chat here for the discussions later on. And we also have uh, our friend Carl is taking a video. There are a few key points I'd like to make. The first thing is in terms of the level of change. What I always try to do when analysing these issues, and particularly looking at issues to do with equality in education, is to look at it in the broader social context. And I would feel quite strongly that uh, there's a huge amount of change going on in Irish society. Um, obviously today we're talking about immigration, but there are other very significant changes. And those changes, and a lot of it in relation to the economic crisis, could be interpreted as quite traumatic for the society. But I actually take some hope for it, from it, because I think it gives us an opportunity to stand back and say, what type of a society do we want to create? Um, where do we want to be? And particularly, I'm, I'm very keen in looking at what, where do we want to be in 20 years' time? What type of a society do we want to create? Just to say that my current academic interest is in um, historical constructions of racism in Ireland, because I believe that racism in Ireland, in the sense of constructing the nation in an exclusive way, ethnically and racially, goes back a long, long way much longer than the recent arrival of large numbers of immigrants. And I think that's part of the measure of the challenge that we face. There is no doubt that our classrooms have changed forever. The presence of diverse student populations, along with a variety of different needs and abilities, are bringing to an end 20th century pedagogical practices, and about time too. Governments around the world are struggling to devise educational models that are fit for the 21st century. It's a huge challenge given our inability to predict both the economic and technological landscape of five years' time and capability of an educational system to evolve and keep pace. On top of all this, we in Ireland, along with many developed countries, are broke. However, I see this as an immensely exciting period with economic challenges providing innovative opportunities. What's motivating the laws? Why are states passing this? And I argue that states are doing this because of a growing discomfort in the United States with changing racial dynamics. It is about putting the gender lens to make sure that we're developing policies that are specifically related to, to, to men and women, um, but that we also locate those issues in the wealth of analysis and knowledge that's already there. And then, unfortunately, there's also false allegations of racism. And if you don't acknowledge that that happens, we're not entering into the full debate. And I can passionately say, if you're Irish by birth, Irish by ethnicity, by association or by desire, you're welcome in Ireland. I've been here all these years and you never welcomed me in such a manner, so I thought, okay. But certainly the acquisition of Irish citizenship gave me a huge, very unexpected sense of belonging to, to society. Although I still have to say that when people ask me where I'm from or what my nationality is, I'm not quite sure what to answer. So I suppose it, it does demonstrate that I'm still confused about it. It is important we understand that the role of the media is not to promote diversity. That's extremely important. Integration is here to stay, and we have to keep working at it. We have to work on an integration policy that's, at the end of the day, operational. Thank you.